Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thanks for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm working on an Asus TUF F15 Gamer. Exact model is a uh, FX506, but this should help you gain access inside any of the F15 series computers. I'm going to show you how to access your fan and your heatsink assembly in case you want to replace those or simply clean them out. So first thing guys, shut your computer off, make sure that it's powered down, unplug the charger, and then we're gonna flip it over. After you flip it over, you've got quite a few screws down here to remove. Uh, you've got these two on the top left, these two on the top right, you got these three near the bottom right corner, and then these three near the bottom left corner, and then lastly, you have this one in the middle. Some of you may have a warranty sticker over this center one. Just be aware when entering any computer, if you're breaking any warranty seal stickers, uh, you could be voiding part or all of your warranty um, or warranties, depending on how many warranties you have on that machine. So just be aware of that with any DIY stuff. After you remove that, guys, you can take a small flat pry tool. I like using a plastic pry tool like a guitar pick, and you're gonna go around the outside and slowly, gently pry apart the bottom case from that palm rest, get those separated. Once you've separated them, this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. One other word of caution, guys, I have this computer right now sitting on an anti-static mat. If you don't have a mat, try to get an anti-static bracelet, but something like that, that can help you avoid damaging your computer. Um, if you need any help on any tools or supplies, there'll be a link above, also below in the description on to my Amazon store. That'll show you some stuff that I use in my shop if you need any suggestions. Um, also, as far as getting power out of the computer, making it safe to work on, the first thing you do with any repair is unplug your battery. So we're gonna do that before we get into anything else. You've got a screw here on the left of your battery, a screw down here on the right, and it's plugged in right here. So undo those two screws. And then right here you have your battery port. There's another sticker here. Uh, they love their warranty stickers in, in this model. As you can see, there's another sticker up here uh, to remove that heat sink screw. Uh, but there is one here that will break when you take this port off. So um, just so you know, guys, don't just pick up the battery and, and yank on it. Some of these uh, wires sometimes can come right out of that plug. So put your fingernails or a small plastic pry tool on either grip on either side and just slide this straight down toward the bottom of the computer and that battery will release. Okay, so while you guys are working on that, getting out all those screws, removing your bottom case and taking your battery out, I'll run a quick pitch by you for my affiliate partner, a great place to get games, Humble Bundle. At Humble, guys, you can get the latest games at great prices. They also have great ways to save when you're buying. You can bundle your games together in a purchase instead of buying them one at a time. You can also join Humble Choice, which is a monthly subscription service that gets you free games every month. And you can also feel good about your purchases because Humble has donated a ton of money to charity. And every time you pay your Humble Choice membership, every time you use my link, charity gets more. So it's a great website, guys. Great place to get games. Check it out with the link above. I'll also have the link below in my description. After your battery is gone, we can proceed further into the computer. So as far as the fan and the heatsink assembly, you got your left fan here, guys, your right fan here. Your heatsink assembly runs through them both over the CPU and the GPU. Um, as mentioned before, be cautious of this sticker here that's voiding your warranty um, or, or part of your warranty. But to get these fans up, there's a screw here on the left, one here, one up top here. And there's a few screws here, one there, one there. And then of course you need to take out all four screws over each chip right here to get this heatsink assembly up. So after doing that guys, you can blow them out, vacuum them out. Um, you can blow the fans out a little bit. You can't really get into the heatsink assembly. Uh, but once you get this off, you can clean off the uh, thermal paste, reapply thermal paste. Uh, that's kind of a good side note. If you do want to reapply thermal paste guys, um, clean off the old stuff fully first. You don't want to put new thermal paste on top of old thermal paste. So that's how you would get at your fans and your heatsink. Okay, guys, so that's the video. I hope it was helpful in getting into your computer and finding the component you were looking for. Uh, if you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. I do try to keep those updated over time. If you do need to leave me a question, feel free. 
I try to answer those at least a couple times a day. Please remember to like and share if this video was helpful, if you think it could help someone else, and feel free to subscribe if you enjoy little quick tutorials like this. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.